Nice of you to drop in. <laughs> I'll come for you, Joker. You're going back to Arkham. Is able to store up electricity. It can store enough power to run a household for a whole day. The the power it stores can provide can provide to other Pokemon, so it can also serve as a battery. And Charger Bug has the ba uh, battery ability, an ability never seen before in any Pokemon. The battery ability allows it to raise the power of allies. Special move. Oh, interesting. And we get into the evolution of it. Volcavolt. Volcavolt. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Stag Beetle Pokemon. This is the Stag Beetle Pokemon. It is a bug electric type. It does look like a Stag Beetle. Like a cool one. It is uh, 4 feet. 11 inches tall in height. And 99. 2 pounds in weight and it has a levitate ability. Volcavolt is like a forest, a uh, ferocious, wait, it's ferocious? Oh, it's like a ferocious, for, oh, it's like a fortress that zooms through the forest. It wells a beam of lightning from its mouth. It, it Its huge jaws control the electricity it blasts out. Vo Volca Volt. <laughs> I might change the pronunciation sometimes because I'm trying to pronounce it right. Is adept at combat, at acrobatic fights, uh, acrobatic flights, m m mandibles like tail spins, and sharp turns. It can fly as at high speeds, uh, even if it uh, waves its way. Uh, through the com complicated triangle of tang of complicated tangled branches in the forest, Volcavolt collapse uh, collapse mm, uh, charge a bug with its legs and uses the extra battery. Use it as an uh, extra battery, even if it's in battle. Drag uh, drags on it. Can use the battery. It can use the electric power charger bug to continue firing off powerful moves. When Volcavolt is engaged in fierce aerial fight, it releases charger bug to make itself lighter to and increase its uh, mobility. Interesting. Oh, uh, we're almost to almost to the end of this. Okay, this is, we get to the Guardian Pokemon. Um, this is uh, Tapu Kakuku. Kakuku. I can't pronounce it right. It's the Land Spirit Pokemon. I think this is a legendary type. It's an electric fairy type. It is uh, five feet, five feet, eleven inches tall in height, and it weighs forty-five point two pounds in weight. And it has the new ability called Electric Surge. Tapu Kakuku is a is a special Pokemon that protects the area where it lives. It's the guardian uh, deity of Mele Mele Island, one of the islands of Alola re of the Alola region. Although it it's known as a guardian deity. It's surprisingly f f fickle Pokemon, and will not necessarily come to your aid if you need help. Despite that, this Pokemon has a strong sense of curiosity. If it's um, if it's if it begin it bec uh, becomes interested in a person or in another Pokemon, it may come to play or battle with them. Tapu Kaku's ability is electric surge, and it's a, an a, an ability never before seen in a, a, in Pokemon. Um, 
Electric Surge fills the field around the Pokemon's feet with electric electricity. When it appears, raising the power of any electric type moves uh, for Pokemon on the ground and preventing it and preventing any Pokemon from falling asleep. Tapu Kaku can pronounce this though. Can learn a new move called Nature's Madness, which slams into an opponent and reduces that Pokemon's HP in half. Tapiku, I can't pronounce that still. Can store up electricity by enclosing itself in its shell, a shell on its arms, and also, and it also appears to enter this form during other special times. So, that's an interesting Pokemon. We have the we have the new Pikachu of this region. Uh, Tapu. I can't pronounce that. It's gonna take me a while. It's like kind of look like a little hamster, but it's like it's the it's a steel psych. It's a steel electric type. So it's it's the Roly Poly Pokemon. It's one foot tall in height. It's seven point three pounds in weight, and the abilities it could attain is uh, obtain is Iron Bar, Iron Bars, and I can't pronounce that right. And the uh, lightning rod. It, this Pokemon is the Roly Poly Pokemon that gathers electricity and stores it. It stores it as uh, uh, the long sp uh, needles that grows from the back of its head works as a lightning rod, attracting lightning. With this uh, revolver of electri electrical energy, is able. The Pokemon is able to release powerful electric type attacks. Covering its body is a pattern of fur that stands like needles. That means that this Pokemon can roll itself up and poi pro pro I can't pronounce it. it, it it's a ball of pick prickles. So, uh, some skilled trainers have developed the strategy of getting their Pokemon to unleash electric at type of attacks on this Pokemon, which absorbs their power to use in response attacks. Uh, response attack. When they, when lightning strikes, you can sometimes see, see it ga gather and brush up their needles, waiting to strike by waiting to be struck by lightning. That's interesting. Oh, okay. So, we got the new dragon type. Man, this video might be a little long, maybe. We have Drumpa, the Paro Pasha Pokemon. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, it's a normal dragon. It is 9 feet 10 inches tall in height, weighs 407.9 pounds in weight, abilities berserk and uh, sap uh, sipper. Drumpa is, uh, uh, Drumpa are dragons that live alone in the mountains uh, 10,000 feet above sea level. Since they can't obtain the berries they f feed on at that range, they descend up to the base of the mountain dawn every day. Drumpa loves communicating with people and Pokemon. Drumpa are especially gentle with children and often appear at schools and parks where, where children gather. While Drumpa is, is usually a very gentle Pokemon, it can fly into a rage if a child it cares for is hurt in some way. Dragon Beth, Dragon Beth move that it, that it fires off at such power, such such such, such, such times is powerful enough to blow down buildings. Drumpa can have the berserk ability. An ability that no other Pokemon has ever had. 
with the but with the berserk ability the po this pokemon's special attack will go up by 1 when it's uh, when its hp drops uh, below half and the next pokemon we have cutesy fly cutesy fly is a b fly pokemon it is a bug fairy type and it's only at 4 inches tall in height and it weighs f uh, 0 0.4 pounds in weight and abilities it can gain is either honey gather or shield dust cutesy fly it can detect the aura of living things oh that's something like Lucario sent the auras including people Pokemon plants they search out flowers by the color and brightness of their auras and when gather their nectar and pollen when living creature when living creatures are excited it seems that their auras uh, resemble these flowers in full bloom as a result these Pokemon tend to gather their people tend to gather near people and Pokemon feeling particularly happy or sad cutesy fly mostly live in the field uh, in the fields and meadows uh, the outskirts of the cities but they sometimes appear in, in towns uh, even including even inside buildings drawn in by the emotions of living beings of the community interesting that's small too and I don't know I'm gonna be able to pronounce this a brush is I don't know it's a fish Pokemon but it's the Nars Nars Teeth Pokemon I can't pronounce that it's just it's a fish fish with big lips and te big teeth and it's a water psychic that's the only way I can best describe this Pokemon and it's 2 feet 11 inches high in height and it's uh, 41.9 pounds in weight and its abilities are dazzling and strong jaw uh, it emits a strong psychic power well the pro, pro tube the little tube on its head I can't pronounce it fully when it's uh, when its opponent or opponents are ba baffed, baffled, oh, baffled in the, in this power, they th uh, trick trickled with uh, terrible headaches. I fall a country. <laughs> Sorry, as it emits its uh, psychic power, it grinds its teeth loudly when. Nearby Pokemon hear the sound of its teeth. Grnash. I don't know how the hell to pronounce that. They sense danger and flee immediately. In the Alola region, lifeguards let uh, these Pokemon remain in the in their area to prevent dangerous water type Pokemon from gathering there. Oh, they dig holes in the sea floor, leave it. Yes. <laughs> Their tube thing under has exposed while emitting a low level psychic power that uh, serves as a radar so when it detects prey it can leap into attack. It has the new ability Dazzling which no Pokemon has ever had. The Dazzling ability prevents Pokemon from using priority moves that, po that normally uh, strike first. So we on to Zygarde, where um, in its ten ten percent the ten percent form, it uh it can also it also learns. Zygarde is the older Pokemon. We all know this, and it's the it's a Dragon Ground type. It's in the ten percent form. It's uh three po It's uh three feet eleven inches tall, in height, and it weighs. 
73.9 pounds. And his ability it can get uh, obtain is either aura break or um, power construction and uh, power co uh, construct power construct. When an emergency occurs, this this form can be take it can take action separate from Zygarde fifty percent form. So is the sn the snake one is the fifty percent form. And if none of you know that, but this I'm gonna explain, which uh, compares is it, 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 it comprise its body its main body. It has just a single core. Oh, a single core performing the the function of its brain, so it can only maintain this form for a short period of time. Uh, during battle, it's overwhelming. It overwhelms foes with its uh, sharp teeth. When running out of, when 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 running all out, its speed exceeds sixty miles per hour. Thousand Arrows is a move that only Zygarde can learn. It's ground type move, but it's a ground type move, but it can can do damage even to flying types and Pokemon with the ability with the levitate ability after after being hit by this move, flying types and other and Pokemon with the levitate ability will will also continue to take damage from other ground type moves used by subsurn uh, uh, can't pronounce that thousand waves is a move that only Zygarde can learn it makes it impossible for a poke uh, an opponent to swap out in battle so I think I don't think I talk about the cores and the cells I might have, I don't remember, but here's like a little refresher if I did, did it. The cores and cells that make up Zygarde. Each of the Zygarde forms are made up of, by gathering together its cell-like components called cores and cells. Either cores nor cells have the power to battle to their own as individual, individuals. Only when gathered together can they take action as a zygote core. Cores are cell-like components that make up zygote, and only a small number of them exist. Cores serve as brains by gathering cells. They can create zygotes, different, form, different forms. Cores have their own wills and sometimes act on their own. Zygarde cells, uh, cells make up parts of a Zygarde other than its brain. The, th there are many cells than there are cores. And they exist all around the Alola region. Cores do not possess wills of their own. They act in a core, a core, a core, with the orders of the core. And this might be also two parts, maybe. We already know about the the um the fifty percent form, so I don't need to talk about that again. And it's a complete it's complete form. Zygar complete form. It's it's the same thing, but it's uh fourteen feet nine inches tall. It it weighs uh one thousand three hundred forty four point eight pounds. And its ability only has in this form is power construct. So I can switch either looks like it into it's in this final form. Zygarde completed uh, completed forms sp uh, specialized for battle. Embedding Zygarde em enabled enabling Zygarde to fight with its own full with its full power. And it fulfills its duty of protecting the Pokemon ecosystem. Core Enforcer is is a move that only Zygarde can learn, and it it can erase the ability of any opponent that 
has already used the move on the same turn and it's it used it so it wing its wings and tail each have their own core each core serves as a brain to make decisions and act independently so that's very interesting it has two cores on the on each side of the tails so the other new things they added there's like a new thing on their features it's like it says uh, new features coming to Pokemon Sun and Moon so I'm gonna I'm gonna read out this what it says I'm gonna show the pictures what it's talking about it says in in the world Pokemon Sun and Moon you will discover moves and power are more you will discover moves more powerful than any uh, any seen before adventures in Uncharted locations and many more delights that uh, and delights just waiting to be discovered. Get an early look at what's to come. More detailed information about the about the new features in Sun and Moon uh, will be coming. Will be available soon. So we have to wait a while until we see more information about it. So. We're going to see more next time in the next video, but this is going to be separated into two parts because it looked like it made it too long. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh,